the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. This wonderful sacrament have left us a memorial of your passion grant us we pray so to revere the sacred mysteries of your body and blood that we may always experience in ourselves the fruits of your redemption who live and reign with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit God forever and ever let us be seated for the readings. A reading from the book of Exodus. When Moses came to the people and related all the words and ordinances of the Lord, they all answered with one voice, We will do everything that the Lord has told us. Moses then wrote down all the words of the Lord and, rising early the next day, he erected at the foot of the mountain an altar and twelve pillars for the twelve tribes of Israel. Then, having sent certain young men of the Israelites to offer holocausts and sacrifice young bulls as peace offerings to the Lord, Moses took half of the blood and put it in large bowls the other half he splashed on the altar. Taking the book of the covenant, he read it aloud to the people who answered, all that the Lord has said, we will heed and do. Then he took the blood and sprinkled it on the people saying, this is the blood of the covenant that the Lord has made with you in accordance with all these words of his. 
the word of the Lord. I will take the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. I will take the cup of salvation. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? The cup of salvation I will take up, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. I will take the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. Precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. I am your servant, the son of your handmaid. You have loosed my bonds. I will take the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. To you will I offer sacrifice of thanksgiving, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. My vows to the Lord I will pay in the presence of all his people. I will take the cup of salvation. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, when Christ came as high priest of the good things that have come to be, passing through the greater and more perfect tabernacle, not made by hands, that is, not belonging to this creation, he entered once for all into the sanctuary, not with the blood of goats and calves, but with his own blood, thus obtaining eternal redemption. For if the blood of goats and bulls and the sprinkling of a heifer's ashes can sanctify those who are defiled so that their flesh is cleansed, how much more will the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself unblemished to God, cleanse our consciences from dead works to worship the living God? For this reason, he is mediator of a new covenant, since a death has taken place for deliverance from transgressions under the first covenant, those who are called may receive the promise eternal inheritance. The word of the Lord. Please join in the sequence. Lo, the angel's food is given to the pilgrim who has striven. See the children's bread from heaven which on dogs may not be spent. Truth, the ancient types fulfilling, Isaac bound, a victim willing, Paschal lamb, its lifeblood spilling, manna to the fathers sent. Very bread, good shepherd, tend us. Jesu, of your love, befriend us. You refresh us, you defend us. Your eternal goodness, send us in the land of life to see. You who all things can and know, who on earth such food bestow, grant us with your saints, though lowest, where the heavenly feast you show, fellow heirs and guests to be. Amen. Alleluia. from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. On the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, when they sacrificed the Passover lamb, Jesus' disciples said to him, Where do you want us to go and prepare for you to eat the Passover? He sent two of his disciples and said to them, Go into the city, 
and a man will meet you carrying a jar of water. Follow him. Wherever he enters, say to the master of the house, the teacher says, where is my guest room where I may eat the Passover with my disciples? Then he will show you a large upper room furnished and ready. Make the preparations for us there. The disciples then went off, entered the city, and found it just as he had told them. And they prepared the Passover. While they were eating, he took bread, said the blessing, broke it, gave it to them, and said, Take it. This is my body. Then he took a cup, gave thanks, and gave it to them, and they all drank from it. He said to them, This is my blood of the covenant, which will be shed for many. Amen, I say to you, I shall not drink again the fruit of the vine until the day when I drink it new in the kingdom of God. Then, after singing a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. The Gospel of the Lord. Good evening. How wonderful for us to be able to celebrate the joy and the love of summer on this most beautiful and holy day in which the sun has been shining upon us, reminding us of the great warmth of God's heavenly love. And here in this place, here on this most holy night, we come together as family to celebrate the precious gift of life and love that has been given to us by Jesus Christ. Here on this most holy night, we celebrate the solemnity of Corpus Christi, the solemnity of the most holy body and blood of Christ, in which we recognize that fundamental truth that what begins as something incredibly humble, two table staples, bread and wine, offered to our Lord, become Jesus Christ, body, blood, soul, and divinity. Now, I realize that can be a bit of a tremendous statement to make staring at the bread, staring at the wine, we see no outward sign of transformation, but it is one which we know that occurs. Jesus tells us this is what we ought to do. This is what will happen. While they were eating, he took bread, said the blessing, broke it, gave it to them, and said, Take it. This is my body. Not this symbolizes my body, not this represents my body, not do this and think warm, fluffy thoughts about me. But this, here and now, is my body. Then he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it to them. And they all drank it. He said to them, This is the blood of the covenant which will be shed for many. 
Amen, I say to you, I shall not drink again the fruit of the vine until the day when I drink it new in the kingdom of God. This is not a representative gesture. This is the truth of faith outpoured. But unfortunately, throughout the centuries, our zeal has waned. Even within our own parish family, we know those who do not believe in the real presence, who deny it. I mean, imagine if we truly believed, each and every one of us, with the fullness of our heart, that what is happening on this altar is real. Little pieces of paper couldn't keep the folks away to come and adore. But the rejection of others does not diminish the faith that we have. Because here in this place tonight, each and every one of us must come to a conclusion that either what Jesus says is true, that the bread and the wine become his body and blood, or Jesus is a liar. Each and every one of us must come to that distinction within our heart. Do I believe what Christ says? Do I believe what Christ did? Do I believe that Jesus loves me? And he wants to give a very special piece of himself to me so that I may live. As we come together on this most holy night, yes, we're a little warm, yes, we're a little sticky, but yes, we must grapple with the reality of the love of Jesus. He takes the most humble of gifts and transforms them into something that is beyond our imagination. We give Jesus, bread representing our toil, wine representing our joys, presenting all of ourself to Christ. And Jesus, who will never be outdone in generosity, gives all of himself to us. And so tonight, May this be a very special, unique moment of grace for us all. To dig deep within our hearts, to acknowledge the real presence that exists before us, to thank God for his tremendous generosity and when the holy minister presents to you that host and proclaims that truth, the body of Christ, each and every one of us may give that resounding amen. I believe it is true and welcome. Welcome that tremendous love home, knowing how much Jesus loves us, knowing that he desires to care for us and to sustain us so that we may be able to not only live in the faith, but be strengthened in the faith, to be able to receive his love not only for our strength and growth, but so that we can proclaim the truth 
to the corners of the world so that the love of Jesus that we bear witness to within these four walls tonight expands throughout all of our Lord's kingdom. Oh, tonight, may it be a precious night. May we encounter anew the love of Jesus. before our Lord, thankful for the gift of his Eucharistic love, may we proclaim together what it is that we believe. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate to the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day. In accordance with the scriptures, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Thankful for the tremendous gift of faith that Christ has placed upon our heart, mindful of how we are called to be Eucharistic people and to share his love with the whole world, let us pray now for all of our brothers and sisters. For the Church, the body of Christ, that we will deepen our devotion to the Eucharistic sacrifice which gives life to the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the redemptive power of Christ's Eucharistic sacrifice will transform the hearts and minds of all those who govern. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christians will give gospel witness to what they receive in the most holy Eucharist. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that the real presence of Jesus will be better known and loved by people everywhere. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who live in want, that Jesus, the bread of life, will be their sustenance, and that we will bring the mercy of Christ to all those in need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the grace this week to adore the presence of Christ in the blessed sacrament, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions inscribed in our book of prayer, in our prayer baskets, and lifted to Jesus in the quiet of our heart.
we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our beloved dead, especially Jerry Court, Betty Petrusky, and the intention of this Mass, Carl Schulfer. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we, your beloved children, lift these prayers up to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. As we celebrate this holy month of June, a time filled with many weddings and ordinations, let us pray together our prayer for vocations. Heavenly Father, bless your church with an abundance of holy and zealous priests, deacons, brothers, and sisters. Give those who have called to the married state and those who have chosen to live as single persons in the world the special graces that their lives require. Form us all in the likeness of your Son, so that in him, with him, and through him, we may love you more deeply and serve you more faithfully, always and everywhere. With Mary, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his children. Grant your church, O Lord, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace, whose signs are to be seen in mystery, and the offerings we here present through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up, Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for at the Last Supper with his apostles, establishing, 
for the ages to come the saving memorial of the cross, he himself offered himself to you as the unblemished lamb, the acceptable gift of perfect praise, nourishing your faithful by this sacred mystery you make them holy so that the human race bounded by one world may be enlightened by one faith and united by one bond of charity and so we approach the table of this wondrous sacrament so that bathed in the sweetness of your grace we may pass over to the heavenly realities here foreshadowed. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we, with all the host of angels, cry out, and without end, we acclaim. we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world 
and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and William our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
us pray. Grant, O oh Lord, we pray that we may delight for all eternity in that share in your divine life, which is foreshadowed in the present age by our reception of your precious body and blood, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Special reminder that this weekend is indeed our kickoff to summer, our beautiful picnic in miniature. If you're able to join us tomorrow, um, uh, we have our first Mass at 9, but the picnic grounds open fully at 10, and we last until 3. It's a lovely way to spend the, the day uh, and into the early afternoon if you're able to join us. How wonderful. If you'd like a little uh, taste of the picnic, so to speak, uh, immediately after Mass, the country store will be open. So if you'd like to uh, see our homemade goods from... Uh, all sorts of lovely knitted and crocheted things to wonderful tasty treats um, that will be available immediately after Mass. Um, just uh, work your way to the uh, Family Center. We are trying to keep everything in one uh, flow of traffic, so there's an indoor. You go around the giant horseshoe, collect all of your wares, and then right before the outdoor uh, is the checkout. So it should be a wonderful way to uh, not only kick off our picnic, but to uh, find some treasures uh, for home and for our loved ones. Be sure to stay cool uh, in the days ahead, and may we always thank God for the gift of his uh, Son, for the gift of the Most Holy Eucharist. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace.